retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution Who's ever fucked with you and told you you couldn't do what you want to do? All you can say all together is fuck you! <laughs> but seriously, folks, one more time. It's fun to yell curses when this little kid's in the front row. Fuck you! Hey guys, so it's Saturday, and what you just saw was from last night. We went to a concert. Um, the Freaks on Parade tour, I think it's called. Rob Zombie, Power Man 5000, Static X, and Mudbane. We're gonna do this video, this portion of the video, just laying here because I'm not feeling the best right now. <laughs> Ever since we got back, I've just been a bit dizzy and um, I tried to record this sitting up but it didn't go so well, so we're just gonna do it laying down. Um, but yeah, Rob Zombie we had seen before and he always puts on a good show. Uh, I really like the mixture of like rock and horror movie kind of thing. I just think it's cool. So that was great. Power Man 5000, we've seen them once before and they were really good too. Static X, I don't know if Greg had seen them before like with the original singer, but we never saw them with the new singer. I've never seen them at all. But they were really good. They had a lot of high energy and I don't know a ton of their songs, but when a band can like make me feel hyped even when I don't know a lot of their songs, it's just, you know, it's a good show. And again, not knowing that much about them, um, but just listening to their music before, this singer sounds almost identical to the original singer, I think. So that's pretty cool. But Mudvayne, I'm sorry to any Mudvayne fans, I was not feeling it. It was just a lot of screaming. All the songs sounded the same to me and it just seemed to drag on and I was just kind of like bring on Rob Zombie <laughs> um, and Greg he actually said like he noticed that there was a backtrack going on I mean the guy was you know screaming for a lot of it but that there was a backtrack and like he wasn't even like trying to pretend that he was singing along at certain times so I don't know um, I actually sat down for some of it because you know if you have pots you kind of have to like reserve your standing time like right now I have to go to the grocery store in a bit but I wanted to record this video but I also wanted to like preserve my <laughs> my standing time so that's what I did during mud vein I just sat down because I knew Rob Zombie was gonna be on next and I didn't really care too much about mud vein so yeah it was a long concert it was like five hours um, and the last concert we went to I mean ghost wasn't like too long ago and when we went there we basically just went for them so it was like an hour and a half of standing time so you know that's not too bad but um this was a long one so I, I made use of the chair but oh another thing while I'm talking about this um I, I mentioned ghost this made me think of something else unrelated I hope this is okay that I'm laying here I feel like I look a bit odd but we're just gonna go with it I'm gonna go into a little bit of a rant actually um ghost made me think of this has nothing to do with ghosts but when we were walking to the venue yesterday um i heard yelling and it sounded it was on like a megaphone and it sounded like a police or um security something like that but then we got closer i heard what they were saying and i heard like you're going to hell and then i saw a guy like across the street in front of the venue like in a band shirt clearly going into the concert was yelling back across the street like no you're going to hell so I'm like, what is happening? Like, what's going on? And I saw their signs and I, I'll insert it here because actually Rob Zombie posted a picture of them. Um, I saw it in between bands. I 
had gone on Instagram and I saw he posted a picture of them. I'll just pop that in here so you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, they were standing across the street from the venue and they were yelling like, if you go in, you're going to hell. The women that are going in, you know, like you're a whore, you're trash, all this other stuff. And it's just like, really? Like, this is how you choose to spend your time. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And it gave me like Westboro Baptist kind of vibes, if you know what I mean? And here's the thing, I try really hard to not like generalize people and categorize people, especially when it comes to like religious beliefs, because I know like not everybody is like that. I don't think, you know, I know there are Christian Rob Zombie fans and you know, just because you go to like a rock show or a metal show doesn't mean you're going to go to hell. Like I think people know that. I think the majority of people and Christians know that. I'm only saying Christians because that's like what's on their sign. Like I, I don't associate all Christians with that kind of, you know, thing. But it's just in general, like, I feel like, I don't know, like, at the end of the day, I was thinking about this, because with the, with everything going on with, like, Roe v. Wade being overturned, I did so much reading and so, like, watched so many videos about this topic from all sides just to try to understand things more. For the record, I'm pro-choice. This is getting very deep, right, for a, for a quick little pop in here. But I'm pro-choice, and, you know, I'm just, I did all kinds of research, just kind of, like, trying to understand other people and why they're so passionate about it. And I'm just using this as an example because it's kind of a current thing. Um, and I feel like I am totally respectful of people that have a different opinion than me or, you know, think things are right or wrong that I might not think is right or wrong. And that's fine. It's just when you push it on other people, like in the case of Roe v. Wade, when other people suffer because you believe something isn't right. And that's all it is, is what you believe. And that bothers me to no end. And. And, and, and this is like, I mean, this concert experience is like a tiny, I mean, it's like, I don't know. I feel like if you were really concerned about people, I probably shouldn't use this term as a vegan or this expression, but I feel like, don't you have bigger fish to fry than like a, a Rob Zombie concert? You know what I mean? I don't know. But, um, but yeah, it has nothing to do with religion because it's just interpretation. Everything is just interpretation. Um... Like, there is no set rule like this 100% means this. It's just you're taking it to mean that. And if you take something to mean that, you know, you should be hateful or you should, you know, be divisive or you should, I don't know, be critical and just mean to another human being, that is you. That's not your religion. That's what you're taking from it, you know, which you don't have to take that from it. I sound like a preacher, don't I? Kind of. Not really. I don't know. Anyways. Oops, I almost knocked my table over. Um, anyways, it was just weird. And like I said, it's just, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry if my opinion offends you on that. Because I feel like if you are in support of the people that are holding the sign, you shouldn't be on my channel. We shouldn't be friends. So it's cool. Like, whatever. Um, but... Yeah, overall, the show was great. It was very fun. Um, we actually have a few more concerts coming up. Like, next week there's one, then the following week there's one, then I think we have, like, a couple weeks off, and there's another one, another one. So it's going to be it's a lot of shows. But um, it's nice to, to kind of be back in that scene. I've missed it. In 2019, we went to so many shows. I mean, we, you know, went across the country to go to a concert, but we were going to so many, even around here. So it's nice to kind of go back to some like that. So, yeah. Um, anyways, moving on with the day. I don't know. We're moving on with the day. It's like 5.30, almost 6 o'clock, I think, right now. So I don't really know how much you're going to see of me for the rest of the day. I can, can muster up the energy, I was going to say coop up, if I can muster up the energy to go to the store, that might be it, I don't know. Um, so I might just pick up the camera tomorrow. Hopefully I will be in a, in a better position 
literally. Um, <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so it's Sunday now, and while I'm in the sunroom again, I am upright and the day is going better. So, yeah. Um, eating quick breakfast. It's like noon, but I didn't eat anything yet today, but I'm having this. Um, it's like a almond butter banana smoothie bowl from Tattooed Chef. It's really good. I've had them a few times and it's perfect for something just quick. And um, yeah, so going to the store, oh my gosh, I keep kicking the table. Um, going to the store never happened last night. So my mom and I went this morning at like 8.30 because uh, we're gonna have um, just my mom and my uncle and my grandmother come over today because on Wednesday it's my grandmother's birthday. She's gonna be 83. And um, we thought we'd have something today just because it's the weekend. But um, yeah, so we went to the grocery store, got some things, got a few decorations that I want to put up. I don't know if I'll show myself putting it up because I'm they're going to be here at like 2 o'clock, I think. So I don't have that much time. Um, but my mom and I went for a walk and then we went to this little local place to see if they had any kind of flowers that I could get her. Which they had some kind that my mom said that she used to really like. It's only like a little thing. I still have time to get or something else, but um, it's just like a little, I can't think of what they're called, but I got a little pumpkin thing to put them in. I'll show it later. And um, yeah, as far as food goes, we're just basically keeping it simple because I don't think I've ever talked about this on here before or not, but my grandmother, she's been having trouble swallowing like probably at least the past year. And she actually had to have her like esophagus stretched a bunch of times and it just keeps closing up so she um, she can't really eat too much like solid food but she likes these cream pies. My mom got one of those for her because it's just something she can have and she can't really have that much so that's what we're doing for that and I have a watermelon I need to cut up for like me and my uncle and my mom but um yeah, and like french fries, just simple stuff. And if I have time, I might run to Sheets to get her a drink. She likes these frozen hot chocolate drinks, so if I have time, I can run and get that. Otherwise, I could just make coffee, but I thought it would be a little something else for her. So, um, we'll see. I'm going to eat this really quick and go in and decorate, and I'll show you what it looks like. I think if it looks nice, like I said, it's not like a real big deal thing. I just like having a little bit of decorations for people. Um, and then hopefully there's time that I can rent sheets, come back, and then it'll be two o'clock. I think I have enough time. Could you see anything? I don't know. I think I have enough time to go and get Tosh off real quick. Probably shouldn't be vlogging. Hold on, my seatbelt is like stuck in the door. Um, Greg wants one too, so maybe I'll get myself a drink too, really quick. I don't know. There's something there that I kind of been wanting and I found out it's vegan. There's hair in my mouth. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so I can't even see if you can see me right now. I don't know how I'm gonna handle these drinks sanitizer <laughs> um because uh, I feel like if mine spills it will be okay my grandmother's spills not okay <gasps> oh oh no oh no okay well it landed in my mask so eh, that's all right okay it just went in my mask that's fine um 
I didn't grab a straw because I have straws at home. I wanted to try this. It's an Arnold Palmer smoothie, but I saw it the other day. I wasn't sure if it had um, dairy in it or not, so I messaged them and they said it didn't, so... Okay, I'm just gonna have to drive really, really freaking careful. But, oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed with people. I was standing there waiting for my order to be called, and there's this lady, and she has like six little kids with her, and I'm standing next to the coffee machine area, so I can't move over. And literally, she just bumps into me, and all the kids bump into me, which the kids, I understand, but then she just looks at me. She looks at me like, like, looks up at me like, are you gonna move? And it's like, I literally... I'm standing as far off to the side I can, and she has all this room, and she just pushes into me, and then gives me a dirty look. And I still wear masks, but I think, well, actually there was like a family that came in that had them on, but nobody else did. And people like just pick their nose, like they literally just put their finger in their nose. It's so gross, but I gotta go because I'm melting, so the drinks are melting. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I have them. That's, oh, yeah. That's, That's good. good. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stevie's missing all the fun. I know, right? <laughs> Nanny got an organizer. <laughs> Work the queen. <laughs> I know what that means. <laughs> Bless. She's the queen bee. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. And many more. No way. Oh. <laughs> oh. Monday now and while I'm a big sweaty mess I thought I would just catch up on the vlog because I really am trying hard nowadays to like think okay where did I leave off what was I doing so I think you might have seen some of the party stuff from yesterday party just a little get together um and I went for a walk but I don't really know if I recorded much of that because I just didn't so maybe you'll see the party decorations and stuff um which it was nice. My grandmother enjoyed it, I think. Um, she left her birthday sash here. I got her a little birthday sash and she left it here. Um, but yeah, so once they left, um, Greg and I went for a walk and then came back, cleaned everything up, and I finally did the pole dance that I was talking about last week. Um, and I have to figure out how to blur something in my video I don't know how to do that last week's video because you can see like a recycling bin and it says a city um, and I don't want that in there so that video will go up today, tonight at some point um, but I have to figure that out. I want to do some work today. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm, I have like so much on my mind like stuff that I want to do and then I just get distracted on what I'm talking about. This happens a lot um, but anyway, <laughs> let me go back. So. I finally did the pole dance I was talking about to Jokes on You. I think it's Charlotte Lawrence is the singer. Um, and I love I love getting dressed up and doing stuff like that. It's so fun. I can't wait for like Halloween dances. And I have a lot of dances that I need to do and get caught up on too. So there's a lot of creepy stuff for me to do. But um, yeah, it was really fun. And I think, I don't know. I just have to like, like I can analyze the videos that I do forever and be like, I could have done this part a little bit better. But I feel like overall, you can't really tell when I mess up a little bit or I'm like a second late. I don't think somebody else who isn't practicing it could tell, you know what I mean? Um, and I showed it to Greg and he's like, you can tell. Cause I do feel like cringy. Like when I watch myself like caressing or whatever else, like I just feel just cringy doing that on camera. It's just weird. Um, but the only way to get over that is just do it, you know? 
Um, so I'm kind of in that mode right now. It comes and goes, like my confidence comes and goes, but I'm in the mode right now to just like do the things that make you uncomfortable and just get better at it, you know, and then you won't feel so uncomfortable. So um, yeah, like I showed Greg and he's like, you can tell that you're like hesitant because I'm like, this is a part I'm cringy about like when I show him. Um, and he's like, you can tell, but you know, I'm new to this. Like, I'm not going to look like, you know, the instructor does. I'm not going to look like anybody who's been doing this for a long time because consistently I have not been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it off and on, you know, for a while, but not this kind of dance. But it does help to like get dressed up and pretend to be somebody else. But yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm going to go to my mom's to have to do some work. And I think, I don't know, I kind of, I want to do a couple things. That package I was talking about, I'd like to like put that together because we're going to be gone again on Tuesday night. Um, another concert. <laughs> uh, this one's in DC though. So we're going to leave Tuesday night. Be there Wednesday, which is when the show is. And then I think stay Wednesday night too. And then come back on Thursday. I think that's what Greg said. It's Rage Against the Machine. I'm not very familiar with them, so this is like a show, like his kind of show, like Rob Zombie and everybody we saw was kind of like for both of us, because I like we both like the music. I'm, I'm a big Rob Zombie fan. I think Greg knew more of the other bands, but I was just mainly like Rob Zombie. Um, but yeah, Rage Against the Machine. I only know a, f a couple of their songs. Me, maybe like three. I think I don't know that I would like be able to name. But um, anyway, so I kind of want to figure out the package stuff before then, but that means I have to figure out tomorrow. So I don't know what I want to do as far as the vlog goes. Cause there's this little shop that I want to go to and um, well, I have to go a couple places actually, but I kind of want to show it. I want to go on like an off time when there's not a lot of people there to be able to record a little bit because it's just super cute this little local store I went to it yesterday um but maybe that'll be a different video probably not this video so yeah what I think I'm gonna do instead of showing you all the like come with me to figure out a package kind of <laughs> vlog um I think I'm just gonna go into the cooking portion of the video which I'm honestly not sure what I'm gonna make yet but I feel like I'm wanting something like spaghetti with Broccoli, I'm thinking maybe some parmesan, some breadcrumbs, some garlic. What if that's like exactly what I put in it? It probably will be. But like, kind of like a, I want to say like pasta, but more like crispy, like almost like people like, you know, when you sprinkle breadcrumbs or something to give a little crunch, like that kind of a garlicky, broccoli, spaghetti kind of thing. I don't know. I'm just going to wing it, but if you like that kind of stuff, stay tuned. Also, do you like this lighting? I like it. I dig the red. I like it pink too. I'm not gonna show you that now. We'll play with the light some other time. <laughs> On to cooking. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 